Hi, hello, hello everybody. Welcome, we're here with Miguel Fontes today, uh, the executive director of Startup Lisboa, a well-known Lisbon-based startup incubator created in 2012. Hi Miguel, how are you? Hi Rita, I'm fine and you? Thank you for having me and uh, yeah, it's great to be here with you. Thank you, thank you. So um, I would like to to give the stage to you uh, without saying much, right? Because you're gonna tell us a bit more about Startup Lisboa, what you do and about the Portuguese startup ecosystem. So would you like to start? Yes, of course, more than happy. So first of all, thank you again for having me in this session. It's a, really a pleasure and to have the opportunity to present to all of you Startup Lisboa. So uh, Startup Lisboa, we are a non-profit association that was founded in 2012. We are an incubator and basically our mission is to support entrepreneurs, namely uh, Steps. So what we do, we try to help them in the first years of their activities when they are starting, sometimes only with an idea, uh, almost a PowerPoint, but in the majority of the case, they have already a business in place and they are starting to scale the business and you are, we are here precisely to help them in that phase that we call the early stage. And how we do this? Basically, I can share with you the way we work. So as I told you, we are an incubator. That means that um, they are part of our program of incubation. And our program basically is based on five pillars. The first one is to give them access to a very good network of mentors. We really believe that mentorship is a key a critical factor for them. So what we are always looking is to find the right people, the best people to help them in their journey. And uh, when I speak about mentors, I must say we are not speaking about a tutorial relationship. It's not that. That means that for the time they are with us at Startup Lisboa, they can contact different uh, mentors in different uh, moments of the journey. And we What we are looking for is to have the best network of mentors, a very diverse group of mentors. That means that we are looking for people with strong tech skills, for instance, but also with a very good knowledge of the market, uh, with the academical background for sure, but also with the good, great um, network opportunities. So it's very diverse. And what we want is to have a, a, a number of people that in a pro model, pro model mode are here to support them. So the first pillar of our activity, it's mentorship. The second one is a little bit the same, but we uh, do that with what we call our strategic partners. And as you can imagine, imagine that you are a founder of a startup, that you are working in the software as a service business model, and you need to use the cloud infrastructure. So that means that we have partnership with the great uh, uh, tech companies like uh, AWS, Amazon Web Service, with Microsoft, with Google, uh, just to give you a few examples. And they have access in great conditions to the cloud uh, uh, service that they can provide. But not only the tech uh, strategic partners. Imagine that uh, uh, we also have partners like law firms. Uh, of course, if you are a founder of a startup, you are always is dealing with legal aspects on your business can be something related with human resources with IP uh, I don't know doesn't matter so what we do is we create again a, a very good network of partners they are here available for them normally you do this through what we call office hours um, and they can book uh, a meeting Uh, with our strategic partners and they start to have access to this kind of extra help if you want. The third pillar about our activity is related, of course, with investment. When you are talking about startups, we know that uh, in this world, uh, they start bootstrapping, but after a few months, uh, they need to uh, get money and they are looking for investors business angels, and namely, of course, uh, VCs, venture capitalists. So what we do is to create the right uh, relation between 
the investors and the entrepreneurs. We know what is the business they, they, are, they are developing and we know also the investors. So we try to create a kind of efficiency in this relationship because as you know, um, each investor has a different thesis of investment. Some are just looking for, imagine for B2B business. They don't want to invest in B2C. Uh, others, they are just uh, looking for investing in the, uh, the seed or pre-seed stage. For instance, others, they prefer to invest uh, in a much more uh, mature uh, moment, uh, namely in a Series A, for instance. So when we know them, the investors, and we know the founders and the startups, we are right in the middle trying to create this efficiency in this relationship. So uh, I told you about mentors, about partners, about investors, and now let me talk about communication. Communication is also very important, not only in the sense that we are here to help them to be known in the community, in the market. Of course, this is critical when they're starting and we help them with that to create the awareness around the project and so on, but also communication in the sense that we try to create great content for them and to provide them with the best uh, kind of content that they can uh, have related with the, the ecosystem as a whole. So we provide them that kind of stuff in a regular basis and we help them also to be known in the community. We've worked uh, with, of course, social media, with the uh, public relations and so on in order to help them. And finally, uh, for us, probably the most critical dimension of our work, uh, and I would say uh, for sure the most difficult one is to build a community. We really believe that community is the critical and the key word when we are talking about entrepreneurship. And why? Not because, it, just because it's a beautiful idea, a generous idea where people, they should uh, uh, learn from each other to share. No, but because we really see based on our experience that when we create the right community, this is the right way to uh, accelerate uh, the go-to-market. And why? Because we know that even, even knowing that they are working in different business models, uh, in different sector of activities, sometimes with different kind of technologies, but at the end of the day, they face the same kind of problems, the same kind of challenge, the same kind of needs, and also the same kind of resources. So if you can create the right environment where they really feel comfortable to trust uh, and to share, um, this is for sure the best way that we have to promote this uh, uh, incubation experience. And basically, this is Startup Lisboa. Let me just finish in saying that uh, we have an application that is always open. We select uh, our startups four times a year. Every uh, um, three months, we have a, a, a selection process. We receive a lot of applications. Of course, we cannot say yes to everyone. So it's a very selective process. We start to uh, select a few number of startups, normally around 20, 25, and we invite them to come to do a pitch in front of a jury. And at the end of that day, we select it depends four, six, seven startups to join our portfolio. Uh, that means that at the end of the year, normally we have around 25 new startups. At this moment, we have in our portfolio almost 100 startups uh, in different kinds uh, of activities. And yes, this is uh, Startup Lisboa. Let me now move to use my final five minutes to talk to you a little bit about Lisbon and about Portugal in general and why um, uh, we see that we are living what we really can call a, a momentum related with the, our uh, ecosystem. For sure, Lisbon is not the best uh, ecosystem when you see others internationally. We are not the biggest, we are not the best, but we are for sure one of the most vibrant ecosystem at this moment. And why? I would say for several reasons, but for sure because people, they are discovering uh, that Lisbon has everything you need when you are facing a challenge so big like this one to start your business. As you know, 
talent, and we are in the tech job sphere, talent is nowadays the most critical dimension in every kind of business. Everybody's looking for talent. And uh, here you can find right talent. We have great uh, universities, namely in these areas that are more related with this entrepreneurship world, uh, in engineers, management, uh, design, and so on. But it's not only because we are producing great talent. It's also because we can attract the talent uh, wherever it is. So that means that what we see for, for the last uh, years is that it's very easy for a company, a startup, but also a big company in the corporate world to attract people from the United States, Central Europe, doesn't matter where they are, when they are open positions here in Portland. And why? Because people see here an open society where they feel comfortable uh, to live. It's a very cosmopolitan environment where the very good infrastructure uh, of uh, uh, everything you need to do your business. And so it's the right environment, if I can say that, um, in the sense that you are deciding about your life. It's not only to decide about where I should invest my money or where I should do this uh, activity, but when about startups, you are talking about your personal life and personal and professional life, they go together. So it's very critical to choose a place where at the same time we, you feel comfortable to do your business, but also you feel good to live and to, 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 to be. So this is one of the big reasons, I would say, that uh, why Lisbon uh, became in the, next, in the last years so relevant internationally, because we are attracting so many projects from the different kind of activities, and that's something that is creating what we can call really a momentum. Of course, that put also some challenge related with uh, job opportunities, and what we are seeing is that we are increasing a lot this market, the IT market, it's very hot at this moment, as probably you know that better than me. And people, they are completely fighting for talent people. And this is good, it's a good problem. I prefer to face this kind of problem instead of face other problems that we had in the past. So to conclude my uh, presentation, let me just say that this is critical for a country like Portugal, because for now, uh, maybe for the first time in this digital economy, doesn't matter where you are. I'm speaking about your uh, geographical position. Um, until now, we felt that we, we, are, we are always at, in a corner of Europe so far away for the big markets, the consumer markets, so far away for raw materials, so far away of everything. But this, in this digital economy, you can be here in the south of Europe, so far away of the central Europe, as you know, with our biggest markets, with great consumers and so on, but you can produce and you can create your products and your service from Lisbon, from Portugal to the world. And that's something really, unique and we are now facing that uh, opportunity uh, in a way that they uh, we see a, a, a great opportunity for us as a country so uh, thank you for uh, having me again now i'll be more than happy to answer your questions thank you hello again miguel thank you very much for all the insights shared. Um, we have a, a question here already, and I'm gonna refer to our audience. Please just type your questions under the Q&A tab. If you have any, we have, I can show on stage the first one. Miguel, do you uh, see the question? What are your strategies and advices to find the right people since the market is so saturated? So do you think the market is saturated? Um, what are your strategies? What, what would you answer here? Oh, great question and a difficult, to, a difficult one. So let me start in saying that probably that could sound a paradox, but I would say that you should expose yourself uh, uh, as a company uh, the maximum that you can in the sense that uh, the right way for, uh, based on our experience to find the right people is to show what you are doing 
in order to attract the attention of those that you are looking for. So it's very important to be very active in the community uh, and explain very well your value proposition to the market, but also for the employees, for the people that you are looking for. So be part of that, what we can call this great ecosystem, is very critical. Not in the sense to just do advertising, but in the sense that to be present, to do events, to be uh, uh, available to talk with all the people that are uh, looking for uh, your project, looking uh, for your attention. The, the best way uh, that I would say, or the best strategy to do that is this. Of course, that you have a, a risk involved, is the fact that when you are showing you so much, you are also... Uh, uh, saying to the market that you have great uh, people working with you inside your organization and this is normal but uh, after you need to attract people and to have the best strategy to retain them and this is all a, a big discussion about human resources how you can and how you should play your human resource strategy not only to attract people when they are starting but more important in my perspective to retain that talent because uh, in this uh, when you are talking about a, a, a hot market it's very easy for a professional IT to move if uh, he or she is not uh, uh, happy with the professional situation, it's very easy to move to another company. So it's mandatory to retain your talent because it's about talent. Very good. Yes. Um, there's another question here. So someone um, asking, uh, let me show on stage. If you have any any tips for freshers based in Lisbon, so can they also contact Startup Lisboa if they have an idea for a new business? How would you advise on this? Yes, of course, more than happy. But the question is, as I explained, uh, not because we are snobbish, but we must be very selective in our process. It's normal that norm, that we take more project more project that are already in another stage instead of those starting with an idea and um, because of that and because of another another dimension that I would like to emphasize that we used to say that it's all about execution idea it's important but uh, idea it's not the 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 most critical factor when you are talking about uh, uh, entrepreneurs and about uh, entrepreneurship it's all about execution uh, mm -hmm. it's not about idea and sometimes people think that oh if i have a great idea that's all no the idea just a starting point but we are here to help those uh, in that stage we try to organize a lot of events uh, even for those who are not part of our portfolio precisely to help them when they are thinking to start their activities not only at startup Lisboa, but for good we have other players in the in the ecosystem that are here for that and uh, i would suggest if you are talking about for instance lisboa uh, to uh, go to to made off the platform curated by the city of lisbon where you can find a lot of players and um, incubators like ourselves but also made of lisboa. Mm -hmm. it's made of lisboa that are developing acceleration programs co-working space community projects uh, it's a kind of directory of resources if you want uh, a database very important so my suggestion for someone that is not uh, here at lisbon uh, can start looking through uh, this platform Thank you, Miguel. Um, it's too bad we all only have uh, 20 minutes and they're gone now, pretty much. Uh, thank you again. Thank you, everybody, for your questions. Unfortunately, we cannot take any more. We need to move to our new uh, next session. Uh, I hope to see many of you around and enjoy the event and check the boots as well. There is a lot of companies um, uh, looking to hire new talent. Miguel, obrigada. And see you next time. Thank, thank you, everybody. You, Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.